Hello, DGENs, and welcome to Degenerate Bets. I am Noah. This is AJ, as always. You can follow AJ at Brofect1 on social media, myself, and you know underscore it. Engelbretson on Twitter. Degen Takes on most social media. I think Degen Takes 69 on TikTok. Um, yes, sir. Get DGen that going. Takes 69 on TikTok. Come Blow those us. up. I got all my shirts on there. We'll be posting weekly content there. Um, you can get all of your DGEN takes and DGEN bets content yeah. on our social medias. Um, AJ, kind of a Bro. kind of a lou- kind of a lousy slate coming into college football this week um, compared to Noah, what we've had. Let me, I mean, let, me great, let me talk about great, this really quick. Great, great game tonight. I will say, great game tonight. We didn't get to great game. cover our picks on it, but App State, who I've been high on for most of the season until they got blown out last week. They upset Coastal Carolina. I think yep. App State's. Do they do they see it? Do they see a spot in the rankings or do they not? I mean, they don't. They don't know. And we we both know it's true. Unfortunately, App State should be in the rankings, especially how they've been performing lately. But we I both mean, that, know that the 40, college that football 40, committee. Forty-one to fourteen loss to Louisiana was not pretty. That's uh, that's going to hurt them. That's going to hurt them. That's going to hurt them. It does. But let's be real. App State is not in a Power 5 conference, so we're not going to see them touch the top 25 at this point. The fact that Oregon right now is number 10 and they're in the Pac-12 is a fucking blessing because... I do have to say I love I love the Fun Belt. I, I do, too. I it's, love it's, the Fun Belt. I love betting it, on it and everything. It's one of, it's one it's of my not, favorite... One of my favorite conferences. They play these Wednesday, Thursday games all the time. I love that. Oh, it's wonderful. It's wonderful, but they're just not going to win anything. And that's what's unfortunate. You know what I mean? App State, they can cover the spread. They can win as much as they want. But they're not going to do shit past winning, like beating the spread and shit like that. So uh, don't get me wrong. I love betting on the fun state a lot more than I like betting on the Suns. Because let me tell you, I took a fucking bath on the Suns today. Let me tell you, going against the Denver Nuggets, bro, I had a, I had a beautiful, beautiful same game parlay, plus 225. I'm, I'm sorry, plus 2,225. 2, and so it was a good wow. one, but the motherfuckers couldn't cover the spread to save their life. It was a damn good game. But, Noah, can we talk about college football? Because there's a yes. lot of games yes, that we I can. like. So and I'm, I, I got one I would, shirt. I got a shirt, bro. I got a shirt. Let we always got a know. shirt. We always we always got a shirt. We always got a shirt. Always, baby. bro. Where do you so, want to start? Obviously, like I said, we had our game tonight. App State, big yep. upset win at home against Coastal Carolina, number fourteen ranked Coastal Carolina. Uh, might as well just jump into tomorrow. Um, you know, there's yeah, there's one go. there's one game that's jumping out to me um, from a betting perspective. Probably not a super exciting game, but we got Tulane at SMU. SMU. Yep. F- 14 point home favorite. Um, really? I love SMU. I love SMU to cover that 14. I think Tulane's not a great team, despite their almost upset against Oklahoma. But you know, we're looking at one and five Tulane. Uh, some people like to call them on social media too lame. Um, they're not a great team. I think SMU takes care of business, uh, blows them out of the water in this one. No, I'm with you. No, I don't see SMU losing this game. So I'll take the money line to be safe. But that 14, for them to win by two touchdowns, I feel like that's a given at this point. This SMU team is firing on all cylinders. They're one of the few college football teams that when I watch them, I'm not disappointed with what's going on. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, they're, and, looking, they're looking sharp. Um, no, Absolutely. Yeah, fuck it, dude. Let's go SMU on the 14. I'll take that shit all day long. If they're going to give me 14 points, yeah. Against Tulane especially. Tulane, don't get me wrong. Tulane, I love you. I love you, Tulane. But y'all y'all can't play college football to save your life. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'll take SMU on the 14. Honest to God, that's a beautiful line. All right. There we have it. We have SMU minus 14. I think that's an Hell easy yeah. bet. Honestly, I don't think 14 is enough for that spread, but we will see. Uh, jumping from Thursday night college action into some Friday night action, we got some Pac-12 on Friday. Washington oh, at shit. Washington after dark. 
Washington at Arizona. Um, this Washington team has been very disappointing so far this season. Not anywhere been. near the level of disappointment uh, that us Arizona fans feel, but <laughs> um, Arizona getting 18 points. Washington, 18 They're point getting favorite. 18? Two and four Washington coming in as an 18 point favorite. Um, we haven't, we have not looked good at any point this season. No. Um, I don't know. What, what do you think? 18 points. Do you think we, we cover that? Do you think Washington blows us out? I, I mean, so we, we've talked about it a lot, Noah. We know how much I hate, I hate big spreads in college football, especially when it goes to the favorite. However, U of A has looked like dog shit, bro. Like I literally, like I've watched so many games. Yeah, point, coming up, coming off of a uh, thirty-four to zero loss last oh, week God. at Colorado. Colorado, a terrible team. Just terrible. And, Just terrible. And like, and, and we got I'm blanked. At, and we got blanked. I, so. Yeah, and I'm going to be at homecoming. So shout out, I'm going to be at homecoming for this U of A season. And we're going against Cal, and I don't even want to fucking bet on them against Cal. I hate this U of A team. With that being said, though, 18 points, that's a lot of fucking points. Yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot of points. So for Friday, since it's Pac-12 after dark, and because I have nothing better to do with my life, I'm going to sweat this game out. I'm going to go U of A plus 18. I think that's a lot of fucking points. And I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the homer pick on this one. I hate to do it, I really do, because I hate I hate this U of A team. But 18 points against Washington just seems like a lot. Yeah, uh, Washington obviously starting the season in the rankings. Like I said, two and four record. They're looking very disappointing, looking very dismal. We, I think I think we use this 34 to zero loss against Colorado. I think we come back, we start the game strong. Oh, um, I hope so. You know, give, give me Arizona plus 10 and a half in the first half. You have 10 and a half in the first half. That's not bad. Uh, g- give me that. And, and I will, I will take the 18. Uh, begrudgingly, I will take the 18. Um, we'll, we'll hope that that hits um i don't expect a win here for us but i do hope that we can cover um i will be taking arizona at the halftime you know first half line and and final line to cover um and uh we will see i I, you know it'll be painful either way but at least maybe i can make some money off of it (laughs) hopefully because that's just because we're gonna watch the game we're both gonna watch the game It's going to be a fucking miserable game to watch. I'm not looking forward to watching. Two bad this teams. Game. Two bad teams. Two but, you know, very that's, bad teams. That's what you get. That's what you get more often than not. Pack twelve. So it's okay. God, it's disgusting. I hate it. Um, I hate it. AJ diving into our Saturday slate. What do you got Saturday, bro? Uh, we, we got a we got a couple games Saturday that interest me. Um, that I'm, yeah. I'm kind of intrigued by, and um, a couple that I'm I'm a little questioning the, what the lines are for him what do you think uh, start, well starting off we got wake forest at army um wake forest a three-point favorite wake looking good looking like one of the favorites to potentially win the acc this year but army's always tough man i know you love your home dogs army a three-point dog at home uh probably a very low scoring game as most of these you know, military academy games are. Um, what no, do you think definitely. about this one, AJ? So my big thing on this game is Wake Forest. They're 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 the fucking they're the best. Like I, we've both been on this team for the last couple of years, and Wake Forest, they just know how to turn up, show out, show up. And I really like them. I really like them against Army. I love the three points, so I'll take them on the spread. However. With so you like you, you like wake you're not picking the home oh, dog no not taking the home dog on this because it is army okay. you know if it was any other team i'd probably take the home dog but with it being army and or navy or one of those teams i'd probably still take the favorite going over uh with that being said though 
What do I, what do you have the under at? <laughs> Well, oh, you have the total. My, it, it's got, let me pull it up. It's, it's got to be like be 45. It's got to be in the 40s. Points. It's got to be in the 40s. Love the under. 53. It's at 53. Oh, slam the under. What are we even talking about? You slam that under and you just see the cashier at the window and you say, hi, thank you very much. Take that under. I love the under at 53. I'll take Wake Forest minus a three and then the cover and then minus and then the 53 points, bro. Are you kidding um, me? Under 53? Yeah, I I was expecting this to be in like the mid to upper 40s for the over under. So I, I did that, too. Seeing, seeing that 53, I can't pass up on the under. However, I'm putting Wake on upset watch. This wow. Is upset watch. Wow. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy the half point hook and take Army plus three and a half. Uh, I'm also going to sprinkle a little bit on the money line. Um, yeah, I mean, let's, we're both on the under, but I, I, I got to go Army on this one. And just so all our viewers know, Noah and I, we talk about the games we want to talk about. We don't tell each other our picks, though. Like we we do this straight up. Like I'm hearing Noah's picks the first time you are too, and that's why I can't believe you are taking Army plus three and a half. Are you fucking getting me, bro? I'm I'm taking a page out of your book, and we're taking the home dog on this one, baby. Hey, fair enough, fair enough. Home dogs, they do well. I think Wake Forest is a better team. We gotta have what other games do we speaking, have? I know it's a speaking light speaking of speaking of home dogs. I got another home got another dog home for you. I don't know how you feel about this one. We got Wisconsin at Purdue. Another three-point spread. Wisconsin is a three-point favorite going into Purdue. Um, let's see. Over under with this one. Over under is at 40 points. That's a tough total. That is a tough total well, i don't think it's tough at all i don't think it's tough at all i think you slammed the over i mean wisconsin has failed to put up points all year um i, I understand why it's so low but i think this one's going to be one of those games where it kind of doesn't really go on par with how either team's been playing and there's going to be points in this game there will be points in this game absolutely however with that being said i don't think Wisconsin wins this game plus three. No, you're throwing all these home dogs at me, and I hate, I hate a lot of these home dogs. Purdue is not a good football team. I mean, I'm going to take Wisconsin. They're Who ranked, gives a shit? but that's Who only gives because they. Shit? That's only because they. Oregon. They whopped, Oregon's number ten. They whopped Iowa in they Iowa City. Iowa. I will say they did. Oh my Iowa. god, they killed Iowa. That was so. That was a rough game. I but mean, you, you can't you can't not put a team in the rankings after just blowing out the number two team in the country on the road. But no, I I agree, but I can't. I get why go Wisconsin's favorite here? On this one. I get why Wisconsin can't go favorite. on the home dog. Can't go home dog. I'm taking Wisconsin minus the three. I'll probably take. I assume their first half is probably at one and a half or something like that. I'll take that too. But, yeah, give me Wisconsin all day over Purdue. And I'll take the under as well because that's going to be a very defensive heavy game. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking the over and I'm taking Purdue. Really? You're taking Purdue? I'm doing the over, baby. Let's get it. I think this Wisconsin team is absolute dog shit this year. They don't have a quarterback who can play for shit. So. Oh, I don't, I don't think they're good. I don't think they're good. I think they're a lot better than three points, though. That's where okay. I, that's where I'm coming from. Well, um, yeah, we are we are on different sides of the uh, the spread in the game and the over under on a um, lot of these games. Next next game we got AJ, and this one kind of uh, I'm kind of confused by the spread on this one. Okay, let we me got, hear it. We got number eight Oklahoma State, who's six and zero. Oh playing at Iowa State. Iowa State is a seven-point favorite at home against Oklahoma State. Favorite? Yeah, seven-point favorite. Unranked Iowa State. Iowa is a seven. State. Yes, unranked Iowa State 
seven point favorite at home against number eight ranked Oklahoma State. The fuck are we talking about? Like this game, we don't even need to have a conversation. You take Oklahoma State plus seven all day. I, well, I, I really don't eight. know what. In money line, you, I mean, I think I don't know. You got to yeah, take Oklahoma honestly. State money line, right? I mean, at this point, I mean, seven points. Jesus Christ, they'll cover that no fucking problem. I I understand where the bookmakers are coming out with the Iowa State and Oklahoma line. I understand where they're coming from, making Iowa State minus seven point favorite at home. But to anyone who's actually bets on sports, this line is fucking a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. You take you take Feels like Oklahoma. It. Plus the seven, you sprinkle the money line, and you have a great fucking Saturday. Oh, I'm that's not even really, sprinkling that's the really money how line. it's I'm, gonna I'm, go. I'm, I'm, ham- I'm hammering a plus two thirty money line on this. I mean, fuck it, yeah, hammer that. I don't shit, see, dude. I don't see a reason. Hammer not it to. down, bro. Uh, I don't blame you. Oklahoma, I don't. I, like, I I'm mean, taking Oklahoma I, all day on everything. <laughs> I guess I throw out upset watch on this one because technically, I mean, I mean, it's a, it's an upset, it's a big one, but um, this one just feels like steel. Feels like stealing candy from a baby on this one. So I will, I will be taking Oklahoma State heavy. Yeah, heavy. Heavy on Oklahoma State plus the seven, and then whatever the money line is, we'll talk about that at a different time. Yeah. All right. Well, next game we got, AJ, we got some Pac-12 action. We got Oregon at UCLA. UCLA getting um, two points at home against Oregon. Um, I think that's that's interesting. I do realize it's Pac-12, and Pac-12 has clearly shown this season that anything can happen in any of these Pac-12 games, um, unless you're Arizona. But, yep. um, AJ, what are, what are your thoughts on this one? Bro, this line is insulting. Insulting. Like, I'm talking about, as a Pac-12 fan, this line on Oregon is insulting. They're getting two points. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck are we talking about? UCLA getting two points over Oregon. What, what, what? Like, I can't even start to understand where the books give UCLA as the favorite at two points. Bro, I'm not going to lie. I did it. I put it on a fucking shirt. Oregon money line all day long. Oregon money line is the pick of the week. It's stupid, bro. It's stupid. How do you not have Oregon as the favorite in this game? This is one of those games. You thank the bookies for making a shitty line. You take Oregon money line and you just have a fucking day. It's as simple as that. I really don't see UCLA winning this game. I With that coming through, though, I don't trust Oregon to cover two points, so I'm going to take Oregon on the money line at plus money. I got them at plus 107, so whatever you get them at, yeah. take them at plus money. And have a have a good Saturday because this shirt's going to hit. The shirt, don't get me wrong, the shirt is two and three right now, but this is the shirt pick that gets back on track. It gets back at 500. I may even have... I, I really – we'll talk about the NFL slate on the next podcast, but I really like the NFL slate this week. I might put a shirt out. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Um, AJ, you know I, I hate I hate this UCLA team. I, I know have you no do. faith in them. I have it all season. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm with you there. Like, slam Oregon money line because I, I just – I have no faith in DTR. I have no faith in UCLA. I don't think they're going to do anything spectacular this season. No, it's a stupid line. I, and it's I, a I stupid don't, line I don't, what they have it at. I don't love Oregon, but I hate UCLA more, so I'm, I'm on Oregon money line on this one. Hell yeah, bro. Jump on this shirt. The shirt's about to go three and three this week. We're about to be back at 500. I'm not even worried, bro. Oregon money line is the easiest pick I've had since BYU money line a couple weeks ago. I'm not even fucking worried. This is one of those you bet on it and you just leave it and let it cash out, you know? All right. You heard it here. 
Next game, we got another armed forces game. We got San oh, Diego. Under. San, under. San, Di- San Diego State as a three and a half point dog at Air Force. They're at Air Force. Yep. Three and a half point spread over under at 39 points. 39? Oh, that's a sweet number right there because any other armed forces game, I'd take the under at 39. That's kind of where I think this league is going to end. I'm going to stick away from that. But I'll take SDSU to cover because that team is honestly unbelievable. I really like what they're doing right now. Air Force, they're, they're Air Force. You know, they do what they do, but they're not, yeah. they're not going to do it. I mean, give me San Diego State as the dog, three and a half points. Yes. Um, yes. G- give me a little bit on the money line, too. Put an Air Force on upset watch. And give me over sprinkle. give me over 39. I mean, I, really I, over. I, you're taking that. I get it. This is going to be a low scoring game, but 39 is very low. Um, yeah, so I, I will take San Diego State and the over on this one. Um, that's what I got. Um, so two more games here on, on, on the slate that we're covering AJ. Let me hear it. Uh, got an interesting one that I could see going one of multiple different ways. Uh, USC at Notre Dame, um, Notre Dame, Ooh. a six, at, six and a half point favorite at home. Over under fifty eight. I I don't know, man. I mean, Notre Dame. They love to win, but they hate to cover, right? That's that's what I always yeah. say with Notre Dame. It, this is tough because I feel like on paper and theoretically, Notre Dame should cover six and a half. But it is no, Notre no. Dame, and and they don't like to cover. They just don't like to cover. They hate it. They really do. They hate covering. No, I'll give you the stats that I have right now. I have Notre Dame at six and a half. They've covered the spread in the last five times. Five, like they're five out of six covering the spread. This USC team is dog shit beyond all belief. I I don't even trust them to cover. You have the you have the total at fifty eight, right? Yeah. Total at fifty eight. I take the under all day, every day because it's Pac twelve. And because Notre Dame is going to win this one, I'm taking Notre Dame on the money line. I think six and a half is a lot of points. So I'm not going to take them on the six and a half, but give me Notre Dame on the money line. Give me the under. I, I really, I don't think this game's going to be high scoring. Give me that under all day long. I got to, I got to stick with my guns here that Notre Dame hates to cover, even if they wow. have been hot against the spread lately. I still don't have faith in them. I don't like the six and a half, so I'm buying a point. I'm going to take USC plus seven and a half. USC plus seven. Shit. Plus seven and a half is what I got them at. Uh, we're, we're buying that full point. We're going to take it. I'm going to stay off the over under, and we're going to see what happens. So that is. Well, I'm on the under. I just want to make it clear I'm on the under on this game. 58 points. That's a lot right. of fucking points for these two teams. Um, last game I got here on our slate for this Saturday. Yes, sir. Man, AJ, I think this one is an absolute steal. Really? I don't. This is the, the third one that we've covered that I do not understand why the line is where, like where it is. NC State. At Miami, NC State only a three-point favorite. Miami is Bro. bad. They're bad, bad, Bro. bad, bad. How is this only a three-point spread? Bro, I'm taking an alternate line. I'm taking an alternate line at seven. Oh, give I'm me nine and a half. half. Like, give me nine and a half honestly, on NC State. I mean, God. Honestly, fucking tease that up. Get plus money and fucking enjoy your day. This like that NC team. North Carolina, they're just – they're firing on all cylinders. I really like what they're doing as a football team, especially against what they're 
going against. It's just they're a better football team. Simple as that. Give me the under, though, because they hate scoring points. I think they'll win by six and a half. Fuck it. I'll take it at seven and a half. Honestly, I'm going to tease it up. I'm going to get that line up at seven and a half. And we'll call it a day. And we'll just enjoy our Saturday. Yeah, I, 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 I'll be hitting the three points pretty hard. And uh, like you said, I think I'll also maybe tease it up to uh, possibly even nine and a half for like a little side bet there on NC State. Yeah, nine and a half. That would be ridiculous. Man, this this Miami team's bad. They're just bad. Um, they are. I'm not going to sugarcoat it or anything. They're just uh, they're a bad football team, and NC State's been looking pretty good lately. Um, yeah, give me give me NC State big time. Yeah, NC State all day, every day, on that line especially. Three and a half, fuck you. Well. That, that wraps it up for us with college football here. We will be adding a little bonus pick here covering Thursday night football because we will not be recording again until tomorrow after the Thursday night football game. AJ, we have the um, – uh, who is the home team? We have the, the Browns and the Broncos. Browns yeah. at home. So the, the Broncos really? – at Broncos at the Browns. Um, Browns with a plethora of injuries. Holy shit. They are decimated by injuries. Still a two-point favorite at home. Um, Case Keenum will be starting the game instead of Baker Mayfield. Um, AJ, I really like the Browns in this one. I think I do too. I, th- I think they don't I take a step. I, I think Baker being out is not a step back. Uh, Case Keenum, who had that tremendous year with the Vikings under Kevin Stefanski as offensive coordinator. Um, I think Keenum goes off in this game. I think Keenum blows up in this game. Oh, yeah. I, I Yeah, I'm looking at the Browns on this game heavy, especially – yeah, the Browns are just kind of disgusting. It's it's ridiculous. But they have a especially wonderful coming, coming, offense. Coming off of an ass whooping, uh, I think they're going to be motivated to win. Um, no, absolutely. They'll be motivated to win. And also, you know, they're on this new record with the – like, uh, I'm sorry, their live record and stuff, like people taking them live and stuff. It's very hot right now. I really, I really like the Browns to win this game outright. However, I would not take them on the points. What is it at six and a half right now? Two, two, two. I still wouldn't take them on the fucking points. Uh, Two games is going to be just enough. I, I'm sorry, two points. I think it's going to be just enough for the other team to cover. I'm going to stick with the Browns money line because the Point differential and the money differential. It's you might as well take the money line if you're in a, if you like them on the points. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I might even tease them up to like three or four and a half. Honestly, but um, I, I do think Case Keenum is going to have a pretty nice game. Um, I think Teddy will too. Yeah, uh, I, I think this game is going to be actually pretty, like relatively high scoring. The Browns' defenses look pretty bad the last couple of weeks um you know you could look at it from the other point of view that you know you got um you know you got von miller on denver with cleveland missing two offensive linemen maybe he comes out big um over unders at 41 points give me that over is it I mean, really 41, 41 41 is low for the nfl i actually yeah think this game will be the opposite of what a lot of people are anticipating. I think it's less of a defensive showdown and more of a, uh, you know, just offensive back and forth. I'm with you. This is an offensive game. This is going to be, what can you do? What can I do? This is going to be one of those scenarios. And so give, like I said, give me, uh, give me the Browns on the points on two points and, uh, and give me the over, over 41. Yeah, if it's two points, give me the Browns all day, every day, and I'll take that over as well at 41. That is a really fucking low. I mean, I, I know that both of these teams aren't known for scoring and everything, but 41 is just such a low number. 
such a low number. You might as well take the free money on the over at that point. Noah, one last thing I want to say on this game. I'm sorry. One last thing I want to say before we sign off for this day. Uh, Phoenix Suns. They might not be the wagon that we thought they were. I took them. I took them a lot tonight. It's one. Oh, it is game? one game. It is one. Game. I understand that. I understand Noah. I understand it's one game, and we're here to overreact and stuff. But I, I took like DeAndre Aiden at twenty three points. Like that's a lot. That's a lot for him. I should should have taken the under in that case. Yeah. Scenario. Same with. Dude, we're we're back to a regular normal-ish season. The the bench players are going to get more minutes in rotation time, especially early in the season. You have to expect that. Like, you got to fade the superstars early. I mean, you, you well, had fucking... Um, last night, Russell Westbrook did n- fucking nothing. Did nothing. Did nothing. Russell, well, let's talk about the Lakers really quick. I'm sorry. We'll talk about this, and then we'll no. sign off for the night, okay. Noah. Lakers are bad. They are not a good basketball team. I don't know about team. that. I think you're Hashtag overreacting about that as well. fade the Lakers. Hashtag fade the Lakers. I'm all over it right now. I don't – they'll win games, but I think they're going to lose a lot more than they're going to win. We will see, AJ. We will see. Um, we will be back tomorrow to cover our NFL picks – might even yes, throw sir. in a little bit of bonus baseball and hockey as well. Stay tuned for that. We will be back with another installment tomorrow of Degenerate Bets. Thank you all for listening. Go follow us on social media. This has been Degenerate Bets signing off.